Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz brought to you by the comedy connection. Well, today communities come together to celebrate World Kindness Day. World Kindness Day is celebrated every year on November 13th. Now the day was uh, created to encourage people to be kind to not only others, but themselves and with the world around them. Those uh, looking to participate and spread joy can perform acts of kindness for others, volunteer or donate. That's right, so World Kindness Day was created by the Global Coalition of Kindness Organizations, World Kindness Movement, way back in 1998. They say, kindness, it's, it's easy to be, you know, it doesn't cost anything. Right. To be nice to other people, mm -hmm. you know, Lord knows we need it. I know we just had uh, obviously Herb Lang here and his sweatshirt said, you know, kind is kindness is free. Right, right. And you're right. He's right. It, it is free to right. be kind to others, do nice things because, you know, that's how you would like to have, you know, people back at you. Yeah. And he just seems to be a guy who's just full of joy, which makes you want to do good things. He exudes people, right? it. Like he's just such a great guy. Yes. Yeah, such a great guy. And it really does make you feel like you want to go out and be kind, whether it's holding the door open, whether it's letting somebody go. Yeah. You know, it doesn't, it's not going to cost anything. I mean, you can always buy someone a coffee or something like that, which right. is great. But if you're in a store, you can step out of the way. You can help them with something if they need it. Right. Absolutely. You know, I think too, you know, we we're talking this morning. It's so easy to do kind things, but I think you had a good point this morning. It's when kind things happen to you, right. how it makes you feel. Yes. Because like we're saying, kindness is free. You right. can be kind. We could all do kind things all day, but it really does have a difference when out of nowhere, somebody does something kind for you. Right. It's a completely different, you know, uh, delivery. Like I told you even yesterday, it was a kind thing. My son, Alex, had texted me in the morning to say, hey, mom, awesome. love you. Hope you have a great day. It was a kind thing to do. Right. Probably got five seconds of his day, but it completely reshifted my day. It is awful, but I feel like almost in shock when someone does something. Sad to say that, but you're so correct. Right? You know, someone does something nice for you, and you just, you you feel like in shock. Yeah. Because because like Alex, our director, he held the door for me this morning. <laughs> thank you, know, you well, Alex. Well, thank you, Alex. Which would which was is is a nice thing. But when something does, someone does something really, you know, maybe even something bigger, you I do feel shocked in shock lately. Right. That okay, you know, I mean, I, there's a lot of rotten people, and we've seen that. Yeah. More so than ever. Right. And and when I when you do have somebody do something nice for you, it's like. Oh, right. Oh, right. Maybe my faith in humanity might be restored a little bit. I did see somebody last week. I was right over in the plaza over here um, at Panera over mm -hmm. here yeah. and she dropped like a dollar. Right. And a woman, um, she picked it up and she ran it over to the woman and the woman said to her, oh my gosh, keep it. Yeah. And it was like, oh, no, no, no. I was just telling you because right. I wanted you to have it back. It fell out of your purse. And the woman was so taken aback that the woman was like, keep it. Yeah. Because it was just a nice thing for you to even want to give it back right. to me. And I thought, wow, that's a nice that's little, a that was a nice little situation to, to be an observer put, of. Put another dollar with that. Go out and buy yourself right. a, uh, a lottery ticket. It wasn't a ton of money, but go it was a buy, dollar. Go out and buy a lottery ticket. Maybe you'll hit big. Imagine you'll that. Hit big, right? I, I wonder if she would have said keep it if it had been a 50. I don't know. My problem. <laughs> Audrey, or a 100. She might have been, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I might have been like, that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. But a little bit of kindness goes a long way. I think it's so crucial that in this day and age we measure our words, we think about our tone. There's a little thing called respect, yeah. which goes a long way. So it's nice to be mindful of the fact that it doesn't cost anything to be kind. It's good to be a decent person, right? Right. Right. It's the best way we, to be. What did we say this morning, Brenda? I forgot. It was so long ago. When you guys do your daily motivations together. Oh, yes. At your desk. Ready? Mm -hmm. Please be kind. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't cost anything. Doesn't cost right? For those of you who remember VCRs, VHS tapes, they used to be a little sticker, yes. right? Was Didn't that a Blockbuster thing? It was every It was place. a Universal. It's just a Blockbuster I major, do remember major video. Yes, please be kind. Mm -hmm. Rewind. Yeah, no, it's true. And, and again, they, they tapped into something right there with the slogan, but it's just really crucial, I think, that we just treat each other with respect. Sure. That's what it's all about. There are little and small ways we can do it, little and big ways we can do it. But let's check in with our viewers. Some great comments from you, as always. James is up first saying, in part, I once had a fellow, oh, my grandmother she says, used to say that, a nice fellow, uh, pick up the tab for my dinner, and he explained it was part of paying it forward. Lovely right there. Dale adds a nice comment. Recently at the market, a woman asked if I knew where a certain product was. I walked over to the other side of the store where we found what she needed, and she told me, you made my day. I responded that being able to help you made my day. How nice is that? Stephen adds in part, one day I found a money clip 
with a substantial amount of money. I seriously thought about turning around, but instead went to the customer service counter. When it was retrieved, I was rewarded with 20 bucks, a double act of kindness. And Joan closes out the comments today with driving home after a pleasant long weekend with my son in New Hampshire. I stopped at Dunkin'. When I got to the window, the car in front of me had paid for my coffee. It lightened my mood, and then I paid for the car behind me to pass it along. That's all it takes. Free coffee. What's not to love? Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Please keep those